I'm Tony Figueroa. I'm the Invasive Plant Program Manager with the Tucson Audubon. And today we're standing here in front of African sumac, Circea lancia. It's a common ornamental plant that was planted throughout Tucson, really heavily in HOAs throughout the 70s. It is now listed as a noxious weed in the state of Arizona because it has a tremendous ability to invade riparian areas and any spots that have a little bit extra moisture. It drops thousands and thousands of seeds onto the landscape, which then generate whips and seedlings, smaller trees, and create these giant brush canopies that are just slowly invading a lot of our riparian areas. Some people think it's a, a pretty tree and I can understand where you'll use it as a shade structure, but proper maintenance and being mindful of the spread of this plant is critical because it can create that fire ladder. If you have a bunch of buffalo grass and invasive grasses below, uh, it has the potential to burn and they're planted so close to homes, fence line, it can act as that ladder fuel that gets up into your roof clear out this understory. Uh, one of the things we call is lollipopping a tree that creates that open understory so that you don't have that ladder fuel potential. African sumac, luckily it doesn't have any uh, poisonous qualities to it like many of the sumacs. Uh, one of the key ways to identify this plant is it has kind of a piney type of smell when you break up the leaves. Uh, the leaves are trifoliated, which means it's divided into three separate leaflets. Uh, so it's pretty e easily distinguished from a lot of our native plants and it has a, a glossy shine to it. African sumac was brought here in the mid to early 1900s as the U.S. government and U of A were looking for drought adapted plants that could be brought to the Southwest and live in an arid environment. So uh, unfortunately we succeeded and we brought in the most drought adapted plants that also have a lot of invasive qualities to them. People will ask, Tucson Audubon, aren't you uh, protecting birds? Don't all birds use trees? But birds use the native trees. That's where the insects that they wanna eat are living because those insects recognize those trees and they have evolved with those specific native trees to get the resources they need to survive. And they produce seeds that are desirable to our wildlife. These non-native plants, they don't have the desirable resources on them or to provide that, that nesting sanctuary that our native plants do. Replace it with something native, you're gonna enjoy it. It's gonna create the same sort of shade, but it's also gonna welcome in a whole new suite of songbirds to your neighborhood that you might not have had before. Hi, I'm Tom McNamara, host of Arizona Illustrated. Thank you for watching this Arizona Illustrated story here on YouTube. And if you like that one, well, here's another story we think you'll like.